One of the features that JCC faculty have been asking me about is a way to record attendance in Blackboard. Unfortunately, uh, native to Blackboard, there is not an attendance feature. However, in this video, we are going to show you how uh, to kind of work around that. And I'm going to be using uh, Google Docs, a spreadsheet specifically, and show you how to incorporate that into uh, your course. So to begin, we're starting with the course. And so I'm in my course and the first step is to go down to the grade book. And so I'm going down to Grade Center and go to the full Grade Center. <clears throat> what I want to do to begin is to download uh, the students that are in my class so I can begin to build an attendance roster we're going to do that by working offline, selecting that option, and then download. And what this does is this will um, download a, a CSV file, and I'm going to make it common uh, delimited. And also, instead of all the grades, all that information, I just want the user information. So I just want the names of the students, so I'm going to select that option going to make sure it's common and delimited and I want to download it to my computer and when I'm complete I will select submit and download and so now I have a, a file that has been downloaded to my computer and I'm going to open that up um, and I'm using Google Chrome to do that I'm going to show it in my folder and so I have this uh, particular CSV file uh, available to me. So let me uh, just kind of move that out of the way a little bit. So the next step that I want to take is to go to my my Google Drive. So I'm using, I have a Google Drive folder. I have my own personal Google account that I typically log into. And what I want to do is I want to drag that CSV file and drop it into that folder. And so now I have uh, that new file in there. Next I'm going to start a new Google Sheet. And what I want to do is I want to import that CSV file. So I'm going to go to uh, that particular folder and select that file that I just uploaded. And I'm going to select this, uh, create a new spreadsheet. Um, actually I'm just going to insert a new spreadsheet. The separator is a comma and import. Okay, so I have the, the makings of my spreadsheet and I'm going to uh, uh, insert some columns. And I, I'm going to want to insert a number of columns so I'm kind of spreading that out. So certain things I, I don't need in this uh, spreadsheet. I, I don't necessarily uh, need the student ID, the availability and such. Um, so I'm just going to clear those out. And then perhaps I want to put start putting some dates in to Jan and maybe uh, you know 8 Jan. And if I wanted to repeat that, I can you know just repeat that across my spreadsheet. So anyways, I, I build a spreadsheet. I'm going to go ahead and format this a little different. I don't necessarily like uh, how it's formatted, so I'm going to change. Um, to this particular format. Okay, and then finally name this uh, my sandbox attendance roster and select OK. And so now I have the makings of a roster and I have this in Google Docs. So what I want to do now um, now that I have this created is I want to highlight the address and I want to just go all the way up to the word edit. 
Um, I found out there's already, you know, there's difficulties when you include this hashtag. So all the way up to the word edit, highlight that. I am going to copy that. And now I'm going to go back to Blackboard and I'm going to select this plus sign right above all the tools and select web link and I will put in attendance roster and I will paste that particular link one of the things that I don't want to do is I don't want to make it available to the users so I'm just gonna leave that unchecked and when I'm done I will select submit and so now we have a new attendance roster and I'm gonna move this up higher on the course and let's close those. I'm going to close those particular tabs. And, and if you notice when I click on attendance roster, it will bring up the, the new roster that I've created and it has that new sheet. So lesson learned, let me delete that particular sheet. but I have this roster so now I can go ahead and uh, perhaps I add ones for attending you know zero for not attending or if I wish X or in some cases P for present A for absent you know it's entirely up to you how you, you wish to do this this is your particular roster uh, I'll go ahead and close it. Nice thing about Google Docs is that that particular spreadsheet updates automatically. And once again, when I select it, there's the roster with the updates. And I can uh, just continue you know, to make updates every time I come into class. To make sure that the students are not able to see that, I will go over and, and click on the enter student preview mode and those items are removed and this is what typically a student can see. And that is um, what it takes to put a roster and uh, I think it's a neat solution. Uh, to a problem that we have until we get a native tool uh, in Blackboard. Uh, let me know what you think.